Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, what we'll try to do is we will try to implement the sign up action. So sign up, so submit. We'll try to submit the sign up using this NGRX state management. Before doing this one, what we need to do is first we need to create the service. So we already have the auth service. Let's go to the auth service. Here in this auth service, what I will try to do is so I will create a new method sign up. So sign up will take email of type string and it will take password of type string right now here i will try to call the same post method but the url will be different let's try to take the url you will be having here sign up with email and password so this is the url let's copy this one and here in the sign up i am copying i am pasting up to here so key is the same thing email password and return security token i think the payload is the same email password and return security token it's fine and the response also what we are getting is the same but one only one thing it is missing is in the sign in you are having registered extra and here we are not having the registered so what we can make is we can make the auth response data so let's go to the auth response data model this one is a optional now I can go to here and I can tell this sign up is an auth response pool, auth response data, and here it will be returning an observable of auth response data. Okay. Okay, so here we are having the auth response data. Perfect. Now we have the sign up method. Now let's try to call this sign up method where we need to call in the auth effects. So now if we go to the sign up component.ts. We are successfully dispatching the signup start and what I need to do is let's go to the state and here in the auth effects we are having login redirect and the login rights in the same scenario what I will try to create is signup dollar create effect I will be having create effect and here in this one it will take a method and here I will return this dot actions dollar dot pipe so here I will be I need to filter the action so the filtering action is nothing but the sign up start sign up start okay so now I need to do the exhaust map so exhaust map and here I will be having the action so in this action what I need to do is so in this exhaust map I need to call the return this dot auth service dot what is that one sign up sign up and i need to send the email and password so you'll be having action.email and the action.password so we got the data and here you can do the pipe operator and you can map the data so the data you will be getting is the auth response data as you already know and here you can get the user constant user is equal to this dot auth service dot format user of data we can send this auth response data same thing so now we got the user and what we can do is so return sign up success okay so we got the success and we need to send the user so we send the user that's it finish and we need to close the loading symbol so you need not to forget store the dispatch set loading spinner of what is that one set loading spinner of status comma false okay so this is the sorry this is the loading spinner now what i need to do sign up success is also completed so if it is an error so let's try take the catch error okay so the catch error here i so we can what we can do is the same type of errors we will be getting right so catch error i can copy up to here okay I can copy up to here or otherwise I can copy directly this one all entire thing and in this catch error I can paste it here directly so I will be getting the catch error error response set loading spinner here also false and this one is set error message of error message okay we got the error and we got the sign up success and everything we got it now we need to set the error message so error messages will be having little bit of different in the sign up so if you try to see the sign up error message what we are having is we are having here email exists so let's try to implement this one email existing so get error message so here case email exist if it is there means just return 
email already exists okay so i have used this one no perfect now now let's go to the authfx.ts so we are having the sign up so after finishing after success of the sign up we need to return some somewhere to the law home page or somewhere right so what we can do here i can you i can use this sign up request okay login redirect oh, i can use this login data and i can paste it so i can use the sign up redirect like this and which i need to filter out sign up success okay so now get to the home page so some something like it is looking one and the same right so we can also remove this one okay I will show you afterwards. Let's try to see the output whether the output is working or not. So let's go to here, and here it is saying that declaration something auth fx 93.9 93 is to 9. 93 is to 9 means so here somewhere we got the problem. Okay. Now I hope everything is working fine. Yeah, here let it compile. Uh, it is compiled successfully. Now if I go here, so sign up is working. Now here I will try to give the same username and password. Let's see what it will say. Test at the red test.com one two three four five six. Sign up I am doing. You remember? It is telling that unknown error record. Please try again. Let's try to see what is the error message we are getting and why it is showing that unknown error record. XHR I will try to saw four hundred. It is saying email exists. So now we are sending the same thing, right? Set error message. Get error message. If I go here, sorry. Mm, case email underscore exists written email already exists so we are using the same thing why this one is coming i think maybe this could be refresh issue or anything so I, I i didn't save it or what i saved it now what i can do here maybe i failed i forgot to save it so let's try to try it again okay so everything is working fine but the error message what we expected is not coming it should tell that email already exists yeah now it came so that means uh, the saving issue i think i didn't save the top service file now we got the we, we we got this one now let's try to save this one so let's try to give another something like test12.com so same thing i am giving and let's try to sign up click on sign up if i click on sign up so this here it is saying that email already exists it is saying it already registered it went to the home page email already exists it is saying so that means what we need to do upon upon sign up success so what we need to do is when the sign up is success we need to set we need to set the error message empty so where can we write this one so when we are navigating here i can write this dot store dot dispatch set error message of message empty i can set like this in the same scenario i can copy this one and in the sign up also i can do the same thing so let's try to do it once again now here i went to the sign up so here i am using test at the rate test.com and i'm using one two three four five six okay i clicked on the sign up email already exists and i am doing some other email id and if i click on sign up yeah home works it went to the home page successfully now here the logout is not showing here why because so here we have say we are sending the user but we are not you we have we have not written the red user so let's write try to write the red user also so here what i can write here on off sign up success okay so i will be getting the state so in this state what i can do i will get the action also oh sorry i will get the action also here so in this one what i can do is i can copy this one and i can write it everything oh, i can remove this one also console why what there is no need so now sign up success also is work uh, i think hope it should work so i go to the sign up i go to the sign up and i will try to do lila the rate lila12.com and 123456 okay i clicked on the sign up now logout see logout i am able to see the logout so that means so now we in the redux if you try to see so set error message has become empty sign up success we got the data and in the user we are having the state if you are trying to see in the auth you are having the user data also so we are able to do the successfully sign up and one thing what we can do is here in the auth effects we are using login redirect sign up redirect 
So these are one and the same only. For sign up, if you are going to another page or login, if you are going to another page, means you can write it differently. But here in our scenario, we are having same. So what can what we can do is so we can remove this one all, okay? And you can maintain this off type as an array. So list of things. So here I can use sign up success also. Sign up success. Okay. I need to use the spread operator here. Okay. So I can use like this also. If I try to see the output, you will get the same output. So nothing to worry. So if I go to the test at the rate test.com and if I do something like this, it will sell email already exists. And if I write something like two two, if I click on sign up, it will go to the home page. So the logout is not working. If I refresh it again, if I go to the login, if I do test at the rate test.com, sorry test.com one two three four five six if i try to see login then also it is going to home page so now we have successfully made the auth effects using sign up and login so we are able to successfully do the concept now if you try to see if you are trying to refresh here it, the login is going away so now what we'll try to do is see is somehow we'll try to retain this login sign up so that the user will once he logs in he, he should be able to log in like that only so let's try to do this one in the next video so the entire code as i already told you it is hosted in the github repository using the lila as a hyphen slash ngrx hyphen counter so you can take over this code and you can see if you if you are while developing if you are encountering any problems you can go through this source code so whatever the code i am writing here you will be able to see there i have the description of this repository will be provided in the below video description so you can have a take a look okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.